Ministers from five states in Somalia are accusing the government of hoarding money meant to help feed people suffering and dying from the drought. The funds total 9.6 million U.S. dollars. They were publicly donated by the United Arab Emirates with much fanfare earlier in the year when the new president visited. The officials represent Galmadug, Hershebele, Jubaland, Puntland, and Southwest State. They released a statement calling on President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud to release the funds immediately. The Somali leader got on a plane to the U.S. on Wednesday, where he will attend the United Nations General Assembly. Tweets critical of the federal government have rained down on social media. Abdi Rahman Abdi Shakur was named special envoy for drought relief. He has been appealing to international donors to come to the Somali people's rescue. But his credibility is hurt by these accusations. The government needs to take immediate action. It either needs to show that the funds are already in action, and whether they have bought water, food, transport, whatever, or they need to immediately release these funds and show a well-thought-out plan for their use. How can the president go to New York and ask for additional funds from the United Nations or donor countries if there is money that is not being used to help the suffering? There not only needs to be some proven action, but the government needs to articulate its plan to put further resources to good use. IDP camps for those escaping the drought, emergency food rations, money to buy food, all are needed. So is a plan to prevent such situations in the future. But now the new government needs to show how it will save lives. And it needs to prove it is putting all resources to good use. ADN TV will continue to report on humanitarian developments across Africa.